Let's say I'm trying to get a job with Meta and I need a cover letter. I'm gonna scroll down to writing and then down to cover letter. So it says, write my cover letter for site reliability engineer, role at Meta in a conversational tone using my resume below as a reference. Let's grab an old resume of mine, copy it, go back to that page and where it says insert resume, I'm just gonna go and insert my resume and hit enter. Dear hiring manager at Meta, it's gonna take my resume, read my information and create a cover letter for what job I want with the information from my resume. What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. Today, I wanna to share with you my primary tool for all things AI. Now there's a lot of tools out there that do all sorts of things, almost so much that we really can't take hold of AI in a way that's practical and helps us in our day-to-day -day tasks. We either wanna be cutting edge, trying all of the new things, or we just don't use it at all. But we need something that helps on the spot with their day-to-day -day workflows. And as I said in my last video, this is currently where we're at in this particular point in history. When OpenAI released its tool, things ramped up very quickly. Now we have an assistant to help us do things better and more efficiently. For example, let's say I need to write a script to retrieve data from an API, and I wanna do so with Python and the requests package. Now I've used the requests package, but I don't remember all of the particulars. So I could go to the documentation, look all of that up and go from there, or I could Google it and end up on like Stack Overflow or maybe some blogs that show me how to do it, and that might speed up the workflow. But with AI, as you know, I can just ask it to generate me a blueprint and it'll do so, like this. I pull up my prompt and ask it, can you create a Python file that will pull down data from an API using the requests package. Enter, and here's my code snippet. I can literally just copy this, paste it into a new Python document, and I'm off to the races. This saves me time and it helps me get tasks done quicker. Everyone really should be at this point using it as an assistant like this for easy tasks. So today, I wanna to introduce this tool to you. I use it as my coding assistant, as a tool to ask coding related questions, for getting summaries of web pages, articles, documents, replying to emails, scheduling in my calendar, content generation, and really the starting point for most of what I do in the questions that come up throughout the day. And I use it because it's always there. It's available. I don't have to open up a web page and log in and then work from there. I just hit Command M. And that's the whole point here, to find an AI assistant that's there when you need it. So the tool that I'm using today and that I use on a regular is called Voila, V-O-I-L-A. It's a Chrome extension that can be used on its own or in the context of whatever page or document you have pulled up. Now, before I show you how to use this, I do wanna mention that there's a Black Friday deal going on with this app starting today. Currently, outside of this deal, it starts at eight bucks a month. There is a free package, but you only get 250 free requests. For eight bucks a month, you get 3,000 requests. But starting today, they have a lifetime deal going on on AppSumo for Black Friday for the next 12 days, where you can get lifetime access to this app, not monthly access. You don't pay monthly, it's a one-time fee. You get lifetime access, 2,000 requests per month, for 29 bucks. There's also a handful of other apps that have the same sale going on. Now I do have to mention AppSumo has offered to sponsor this video so that I can share this deal with you and it's good for 12 more days. There will be a link below to it and we'll get to all the particulars in a minute. And if you're watching this later and missed this deal, I'll address that as well here in a minute and where to go then. But first, let me show you how I use this tool in my daily workflow. First, I use it as a coding assistant, as you've just seen. Now I've already prompted to give me this Python code that we saw earlier. Let's say I don't want to just print the data, I wanna write it to a spreadsheet. I can then continue the conversation, like can you update the code so that I can write the data to a Google Sheet. And it's gonna give me the updated code. So I can write code, I can edit code, just like you can do with GPT-4. That's basically all it is, but it's right here in your browser. I don't have to go and log in and go to some separate workflow. My browser's always open and I'm a command M, click away from asking it whatever I need. So there's a function called write to Google Sheet and it even puts in a check. If data is not none, run that function, write the data to a Google Sheet. In addition to code, I can ask it basic questions. Like what if I'm working with JWTs and I forget, hey, what are the three parts of a JWT? I can ask it, what is a JWT and what's it made of? Return, consists of three parts, a header, a payload, and a signature. And there's my three short definitions. If I need an example or anything else, I can continue to dialogue with it. And then of course you can actually paste in code and ask it to explain it to you, ask it to refactor it, or add in other functionalities to it to make it better do what you want it to do. Now another big usage for this app is to summarize articles or web pages or documents. So here's an article, it's called The Rise, The Fall, and The Future of TypeScript. It's pretty long. I like to read articles every morning and when articles are long like this, I can just get voila to summarize it for me. So command M and I can actually go down to 
I could go to with this page and then ask it to do whatever with this page. I'm just going to go to summarize. Click summarize and it's going to summarize the page for me. The text discusses the history, blah, blah, blah. Key points. So there's the page in a quick summary. Another way you can do this, here's an article called How to Become a Good Backend Engineer. It's fairly long. It's got a lot of points to it. You can also do Command M and just go all the way down to Summarize. And then you can enter text to summarize or just hit Enter to summarize the page. This is what I mean by it being context aware of the page you're on. So I can just hit Enter and it's going to summarize the page for me. And there we have it. I use that all the time. Now the third usage is answering emails. So if I go to my email, and I actually just sent myself an email so I wouldn't be exposing anyone's information. But if somebody writes you and says, wanna do lunch next Friday. Hey Travis, wanna meet up for lunch next Friday around 1.30, would love to catch up. Thanks, Bob. I can hit reply and I see this voila logo here. Respond with voila. I can click it and I can decide how I wanna respond. And I can just say, let's do it and casual, maybe I want a confident tone with it. So let's hit enter, see what it writes. And it kept it fairly short. Hey Bob, absolutely, let's do lunch next Friday at 1.30. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Pretty basic, sometimes it writes a longer response, sometimes it doesn't. Here's another example. Hey Travis, I was wondering if you want to take on a new JavaScript project. It consists of coding out some functionality on a few web pages. Let me know if you're interested. Hit reply, click voila, change this to formal, and I'll say, sorry, I'm actually busy through December, maybe January. And just hit enter and it will write out a better response than that for me. It saves me a lot of time. Thank you for reaching out to me. I appreciate the offer, but I'm actually quite busy through December. Perhaps we can discuss working together in January. Let me know if that works for you. Best regards, Travis. I can hit copy and insert and it inserts it right there in the email and I'm off to the races. Now I can also hit compose. Let's say I'm gonna send, I'll just send it back to myself. I'll just say next week. Hey Jim, don't forget to check that document I sent to you last Friday and let me know your opinion. Enter. Hey Jim, I hope this email finds you well. This one's longer. So I made my main point and it wrote out a nice clear email that I can, of course, edit as needed. Copy and insert, and that saves me time. So voila helps a lot with emails, answering and writing them. Now, before I show you some more use cases, let me show you the two tiers that AppSumo has for this Black Friday deal. There's license tier one and license tier two. License tier one is what I'm using. It gives you 2000 requests per month. It has an auto AI model, so it will automatically switch between the two. And then of course, personal license. Now license tier two, gives you unlimited requests per month, and it gives you the ability to select the AI model. So you can choose GPT-4 all the time. And if you're using it for long form writing, tier two will be much better as it can create significantly longer content, up to 6,500 words. So if you click on the link below, you'll see these two options. And I think that's a good deal. 29 bucks for an AI assistant right there in your browser. Lifetime, not monthly, not eight bucks a month or 24 bucks a month for the unlimited. You can get it all here for a one-time price. Next, I use it to schedule calendar events. So let's say I have a dentist appointment next Friday. I'll scroll all the way down through my library to schedule calendar event. And I'll say dentist appointment, let's just say November 29th at three o'clock, 3 p.m. It's actually gonna open my calendar and add the information. All I have to do is confirm it. And there it is. Dentist appointment, November 29th, three to four o'clock. And that's it, it gives me that starting blueprint. I can now click save, or I can add a description, whatever I wanna do. So it allows me to add to my calendar quickly. Now the next usage is for content generation. Let's say I'm on Twitter and I wanna write a new tweet. I need some ideas about what to write about. Command M, and it already knows that I have Twitter open. It gives me an option, Twitter thread, Twitter tweet. So let's choose Twitter thread. Write a Twitter thread about, let's say why Golang, is such a popular programming language. And here it is, it gives me my thread, so the opening thread and then the subsequent thread. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a conclusion. So I have a Twitter thread written out that fast. If I wanna do that, of course, I try to keep things more personal on Twitter, but if I wanted to do this, I could. In addition, there's a whole library of things you can do. AI assistants that give you a number of roles to work with, a legal advisor, interior designer, 
life coach, cybersecurity specialist, coding assistant. So if I click coding assistant, it's gonna say, I'd like to chat about, and it's gonna act as a coding assistant. There's brainstorming, writing, social media, advertising, marketing product, website copy, change tone with this page, improve writing, fixing grammar and spelling. So you can paste in a bunch of text. It's gonna fix your grammar, it's gonna fix your spelling. It will make things longer and shorter, simplify language, and then of course, translate. So you have a page that's in another language and you're wondering what it says, just let's try it out. So let's say, I don't know what this means. I'm gonna highlight it, Command M, and it already knows what to do with the selected text. Well, I wanna scroll down to translate. Click translate, and there it is. Australia has qualified for the final of the 2023 Cricket World Cup, having won a thrilling semifinal against South Africa by three wickets. That's what that says. So I can use it to translate pages for me. Now, another neat usage is cover letters. If you're applying for jobs, it always helps to have a cover letter. And none of us like to write cover letters. I hate writing cover letters. Check this out though. Let's say I'm trying to get a job with Meta as a site reliability engineer, and I need a cover letter. I'm gonna scroll down to writing, and then down to cover letter, and it has these variables where I fill in my information. I'll show you how to use that in a minute. So it says, write my cover letter for site reliability engineer role at Meta in a conversational tone using my resume below as a reference. Let's grab an old resume of mine, copy it, go back to that page, and where it says insert resume, I'm just gonna go and insert my resume and hit enter and see what it does. Dear hiring manager at Meta, it's gonna take my resume, read my information, and create a cover letter for what job I want with the information from my resume. So it says, as a developer relations engineer at Teleport, I created technical content. During my time as an SRE, software engineer at CloudFit Software, I did this. At Flexman, I was a software engineer. And so it highlights my relevant experience. Then it takes my skill sets, makes a paragraph out of that. And even up here at the top, it's conversational. It actually sounds really good. So I would take this, paste it into a cover letter, and then I'd tweak it, of course. You don't wanna to totally be dependent on AI, but I could quickly come up with cover letters with voila. And then the final thing I wanna show you is custom actions. So you can actually do a custom action. If I go to settings and actions, you can create custom actions. I can say create new action, give it a name, give it a prompt. So if there's something I do over and over again, something I ask it over and over again, I can create a custom action for it. And if I need to fill in certain variables that are different each time, I can use this bracket. And if I need the pages content, I can choose page or the current date or what's in the clipboard as well. So I created one called generate YouTube tags. And what I did was I just said generate relevant YouTube tags based on the description that I provide. So I can take the description of my video, copy it, paste it here, and it'll generate me 500 characters worth of tags. Something I hate to come up with myself. The other one I created is YouTube video ideas. And it says, generate some relevant YouTube video ideas around keywords, that's my variable. So when I do this prompt, I'm gonna put whatever keyword I want there. Make it based on the up-to-date trends in the software and tech industry. So voila can access information from the internet, so I can ask it things like that. So let's take the description from this video, I'll just grab this much plus the timestamps. Open voila and go to YouTube. You see right here, my custom actions, go to YouTube and generate YouTube tags. And I'm just gonna paste that description here and see if it'll generate me some tags. There we have it. I can actually copy this in a new video and just paste in all the tags. Saves me lots of time. So that's how I use Voila. Again, it's on sale for Black Friday for the next 12 days at a one-time fee. Not a monthly fee, but a one-time fee. Now, if you're watching this and it's past the 12 days and you missed the deal, then you can still consider picking it up for eight bucks a month. It gives you 3,000 requests per month. I'll be sure to put a link below to this deal as well. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you're using AI tools to your advantage. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.